Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Thank you so very much for joining me for this haul video. This is a haul from Creative Pals in Brookfield, Wisconsin. Now Creative Pals also carries a whole bunch of whippersnapper designs. I will link to the website for Creative Pals and the Whippersnapper Designs website. They're owned by the same person, so you can get a whole bunch of Whippersnapper on Creative Pals, but you can also get even more if you go to whippersnapperdesigns.com. There is a tour of the store that came out first. If you're in the area or if you're going to shop in their online store, maybe you want to watch that video too. I picked up the Minte Grandma's Attic 6x6. You're probably not surprised because I went back to it and looked at it and admired it. I thought that I would take it apart and start playing with it on my trip and prep some of these little embellishments and stuff, but my trip was really busy. So I just didn't have time. I just tucked it away and have it for now. Look at these tickets. And Minte is made in Poland and they have just ornate, beautiful details and designs. I would have added a splash of royal blue, but I just thought this, maybe there's a tiny bit right there. I just thought this collection lent itself really well to natural journals, anything vintage, a lot of embellishment options. I liked it. Same here for Prima Nature Lover. I have hauled some 12 by 12 and some stickers of this before, but I never had the six by six paper pad. And same thing, I have a couple of nature journals I'm working on and then some vintage journal UFO situations. I don't need those, but oh, I did, I did bring them home, didn't I? Okay, Gina K, I picked up the Autumn Wishes. There was another one I really liked, but it had an orange kind of retro paper that I just didn't love in it. So I grabbed this one because I knew that I would like working with it. Interesting, the Gina K papers have a little bit of shine to them. They are not a matte finish. So they have a sheen. They are thinner than I expected. They would be nice for card layers, nice to make envelopes with, but they are thinner than I expected. I don't know what pound. So a little different options there. I know that I have purchased Catherine Pooler papers before. They're very thick. They're different. These are, these are kind of fun. And it's nice to get to know the different designers and their papers. So you have an idea of which ones you like for certain projects, or maybe you just have a certain kind that you love. These are kind of like the papers from Not Too Shabby where they have that finish on them. I don't know how well you can stamp on them, but love the look. Okay, I'm not gonna open this or flip through. I think this is the third time I've bought this. If you watch my channel, you're not surprised. Okay, even I was a little surprised when I opened this up, but I follow my logic. This is Christmas Magic. It's called a paper kit. 36 decorative papers, six designs, 32 die cut toppers, eight designs. This was that brand, the paper boutique that I kept looking at that was made in Great Britain. You can see here on the back why I was looking at the different packages when I was going through this brand. There's a paper kit, an embellishment pad, solids, I didn't see those, I don't think, decorative papers, and then I don't know what this is. I can't quite read it some sort of collection. So all the same paper collection, but different products. There are die cuts that are actually ready to go, ready to pop out, sentiments, images. It's kind of like a fun paper kit. Then gorgeous paper. I was thinking these would make, I'm not really into the like horns, but I was thinking these would make nice winter cards for work. Winter wishes, seasons, greetings, happy holidays, a touch of red so that you can mix in some bright color if you want, but works for everybody. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that paper and I don't love that paper. Oh, that one's neat. But I just thought the collection and the stars, blue with stars, right? So I picked that one up. Then let me show you what I picked up for Noni. She loves daffodils. So when I saw this, I was like, I bet this is the thing she's been talking to me about. 
and I don't know if we have Lisa Horton in any of the stores near us. So a large daffodil dye, uh, meant for a slim line, but I bet you can modify it a little bit if you want. Put it on a regular card or even cut this one off and use this part of it. I bet you have more options than just slim line. So an embossing folder and the dye. Very cool, huh? All in one, ready to go. Have a great time. So that is for Noni. Then, okay, Whipper Snapper Designs. If you're not familiar with these and you like what I show you, you just gotta look. I was so overloaded by the selection. There was a dog and a cat Christmas one. I put it back because it was Christmas. I probably should have bought it. I was gonna look for another dog and cat and then I got sidetracked. So I got this guy. He's really cute. There was another one that was really cute. They, they were just, they're darling, and they're not too big. So you could color them up, you could put a cute sentiment across the bottom, you have room for some grass if you wanted like die cut grass or something, really cute. And then the sentiments. There was an entire aisle of general sentiments, and then there were like seasonal holiday ones on a separate aisle. Friends are like flowers, they always bloom in color. I've talked to you about themes in cards. You can take this and put it with floral stamps or dyes, and then your theme is all together. I really like that. May your coffee kick in before reality does. We in my circle have a bunch of coffee things. I do not think we have that. And look, it's small enough. You could put it on the inside. You could put it on the envelope. You could put it on the front. Worrying does not take away tomorrow's troubles. It takes away today's peace. I thought this would be great for somebody who's going through something tough or on a page in a journal or just absolutely fabulous on an embellishment cluster. Because again, not too big. I like it when your sentiments and your images, they're small enough that you can use them both on the same card. Dark Room Door, the only one I picked up is this postcard. I don't think I have a postcard stamp. I know that's ridiculous. I had one, it was old, it was terrible. I think I got rid of it. Like the rubber wasn't soft. This one's a little small, but I thought it would make fabulous journal cards. What I was thinking was stamp it out on nice cream paper or back it with tea, whatever with a tea dyed paper, whatever. And then you would have this image and then maybe collage on top of it. So got sucked in by that one. Okay, look at this one. Best friends are the people you can do anything and nothing with and still have the best time. I have a friend who, when she was moving, we cleaned out her garage and we had an absolutely wonderful day. And I thought, this is a great stamp. I'm gonna make her a card. She doesn't watch my channel, don't worry. And send this to her. And I also think I have a lot of friends that I could make a card with this. I just loved it. I absolutely loved it. And I loved the way the font was. Again, she just has, she's clearly a paper crafter, right? Not just somebody who is slapping these sentiments onto stamps and selling them to us. Don't get me started on the emails I'm getting lately about promoting products. Art Mask, it's a Carabelle Studios. It's two small stencils. And I just thought they were super cool. So pick that up. I did buy Brad's. I bought a couple of dogs, some cats, and some paws. And remember, if you don't like Brad's as Brad's, my biggest reason is usually I put my cluster, everything all together, and then want to add them. You can just wobble this off the back, that's the technical term, and then put it on with a glue dot. So it doesn't have to poke through the paper if you've already glued the paper down. And then look, I bought rub-ons. I couldn't help it, yellow and blue. And then I told myself, well, the cream colored ones would probably go with everything. And I thought, yeah, but I don't want those. I want the yellow and violet and blue. And then there's some neutral colored ones on here. So I did pick that up too. So that is my haul. It was kind of a lot for me, you know, but I had a great time. I think if I had more time and 12 by 12 transport ability, I probably would have spent twice as much. I mean, but I would have needed more days. Like I couldn't go back there in the same day. If you go to Creative Pals in Brookfield, Wisconsin, go to Cops, same parking lot, Cops, frozen custard and burgers. Oh my gosh, I ate so much while I was there. It was magical. 
I definitely am a big fan of frozen custard and I don't know what we have here on the West Coast that is an equivalent comp because Dairy Queen is not the same. Don't tell me it is. If you've got ideas, I want to hear them. But in the meantime, I'll be drinking water for a few days <laughs> and uh, eating reasonable snacks. <laughs> All right. I hope that this was fun and inspiring. You'll notice in my purchases that lots of countries are represented. Watch the tags when you're shopping and think about who you're supporting. Are you supporting people that actually support your industry? Or are you just supporting people who looked over and noticed that we will buy just about anything? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.